Hey guys, Mike Blue here. Happy New Year. This is the Presto Heat Dish Parabolic Electric Heater. I've been using one of these for many years now, well over 10 years. This is the latest one that I've purchased. Uh, there's been a few changes over the years, but uh, for the most part, they're all roughly the same uh, as far as the Presto brand is concerned. I just want to share some tips with you about this heater, why it may be good for you and maybe not so great for you. So there's many heater choices out there. Um, the, this one is very special and unique in that in a lot of the store displays, you walk by it and you feel the heat. It's very intense. Um, that's because this, if you can think of this type of heater, it's kind of like a sniper rifle. It directs the heat specifically where you point it at. Um, that's because this dish uh, receives the heat from the back, which then concentrates it out over a fairly long distance out to you versus let's say like a radiator type of heater or a standard radi uh, heater fan. Um, it just travels and it's fairly silent when it's on maximum. Um, but what they don't ex exactly tell you is that when it's powering on, it actually makes a kind of a buzzing sound, which also amplifies due to the, due to the dish nature of the heater. So there are a really a couple of really great things about this. One, it's relatively cheap. Two, it's super lightweight and really portable. Uh, three is that just as it says, um, this feels like really intense heat for the waters that you get because it, it's so concentrated. It's not trying to heat up the entire room. It's really heating up exactly where you point it at. Um, but the problems with it are also uh, things that you need to know. So one of them is that if you need a whole room heater, this isn't going to work for you because this is just really going to point in one area. So if you're like, um, let's say in a big living room, family room like myself right now, and I'm sitting there just by myself watching TV, this is perfect for pointing at me as long as I can maintain the rough, uh, the rough wattage uh, that it needs for the heat or if, as long as I can stand the different heat settings that they have. The problem is, is that powering on, I just go ahead and plug this in is that powering this on makes a little buzzing sound, which might annoy some of you. I know it annoys me if I'm trying to use this back in college when I was trying to use this uh, as my main heater. You hear the sound. You hear that? And that's the sound that you don't necessarily hear when you're in, in uh, the department stores, um, when it's powering on or when it's cycling on and try to maintain the, the uh, heat setting you have on here, it's basically just a rot rotating dial that has low, medium, and high, is that it makes that sound, and that is definitely disturbing enough that it'll wake you up. It's beer light sleeper. For me, it definitely wakes me up all the time. I find that somewhat annoying, but I love the heat that this generates from it. And it's true, uh, if it's just yourself, you just wanna heat up your own area or the area that you're seated in, um, this would probably use 500 watts. It'll feel like a 1,000 to 1,500 watt heater if you're just looking at a regular type of heater. So I love that for that application. And for the very, also because this, is, this to the touch won't burn you, right? A standard radiator type of heater, uh, the big clunky ones I'll link, um, they, they will burn you if, if you touch it. And this is relatively safe. It also has a safety mechanism. You knock it over, it creates a loud buzz like that. That could wake somebody up. Uh, so make sure that wherever you put it, you wanna make sure that it is not um, gonna be knocked over. And one other thing is that this is relatively safe uh, for pets and animals, um, little kids. They'll feel the heat, like you touch it, you'll feel the heat, but um, it's not as bad as some other cases that, that I've seen in, in some other different years. Don't get me wrong, this is still not safe. You don't want your kids and stuff sticking fingers in here, but they'll definitely feel the heat and you keep them away, it's definitely safer than a fire, but at the same time, um, still something you gotta remember, it's still a heater, it still has the heating elements in there, and it will, uh, it will definitely, um, you will definitely feel a burn if you, if you, <laughs> if you keep your hand there. Um, one other negative thing about this is that um, this dish, this whole grill thing doesn't really come off well, or at least I've never been able to take it off. So if you leave it there and you're in a dusty area, it will collect dust and it will reduce its efficiency a little bit. But mostly what bothers me is that it looks a little dirty. That's all. One other final thing uh, down here, there's a little light indicator to let you know that it is pointed and it is plugged in. 
Um, it doesn't actually change when you turn it on, which I find kind of strange, but lets you know that it's plugged in. I think the warning in the manual is if you're not using it to go ahead and unplug it, not a bad idea for any type of heater. All right, so that's it for my tips. Um, again, if, if you're a solo user and you don't need to cover a big room with heat uh, and you want the best bang for the buck if you're just by yourself or even outdoors, this is probably the heater for you. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video.